Hey everybody, it's Monday, September 20th, and that means it's time for another episode of Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia Nonprofit Conversations. I'm one of your hosts, Cecilia Sup. I'm a certified association executive, and I am the principal and founder of Rogue Tulips Nonprofit Consulting. And I'm here with my co-host and friend, Agnes. I'm gonna throw it over to Agnes so she can introduce herself and say hello. Thank you, Cecilia. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our global audience, wherever you're joining us from. My name is Agnes Amos Coleman. I'm an author and a consultant. Over to you, Cecilia. Thank you, Agnes. And we are really excited today to welcome back one of our favorite guests, Sanja K. Keech, who is the immediate past president of the Osaka Belgrade chapter. Welcome, Sanja. Would you like to say hello and tell us a little something about yourself? Uh, hello, and thank you for having me again uh, on, on this uh, very, very nice and very great uh, uh, event, I, I could say event. <laughs> so, um, uh, what I could say about me, yes, uh, I am immediately past president of Isaka Belgrade chapter. Um, I was uh, president of Isaka Belgrade chapter for five years. Actually, I was involved in uh, uh, Isaka Belgrade chapter for seven years because first two years uh, we work at uh, chapter establishing or formating here in, uh, in Belgrade, actually in Serbia. That is fantastic. And congratulations on a successful chapter launch. Oh, absolutely. That's Thank great. you. So, uh, there's so many things we could talk about about chapters and then international chapters. So what did you see as a benefit of becoming a chapter of Isaka? Um, well, uh, what is the benefit? Uh, I, I could see, uh, thank you for this question, actually, <laughs> because uh, uh, um, uh, if I uh, uh, look back in the past and uh, uh, when, when I uh, look at the time when we don't have uh, uh, this kind of chapter here in Belgrade, uh, um, I could say that uh, we maybe uh, in that time didn't, didn't recognize benefit. Mm -hmm. uh, when we uh, think about to uh, establish chapter to, uh, here in, in Serbia, uh, Isaka chapter, actually we, first of all, we recognize need. Mm -hmm. need of this kind of, of chapter, of the, this kind of association here in, in, in Serbia. Uh, so after, after we launch our chapter, we recognize benefit. And uh, what is uh, what we uh, what uh, what is it? What we recognize? Actually, we recognize that um, uh, we have opportunity to share and compare compare our experience and knowledge, um, and uh, how uh, to actually improve that experience and knowledge and uh, how to promote uh, uh, um, ourselves in world uh, worldwide uh, uh, association in in uh, actually across our professional uh, so we recognize uh, that we benefit because we uh, in, expand our network mm -hmm. and uh, uh, maybe the most benefit is uh, uh, that that uh, we are always up to date with world trends. Oh, great so, point, Sandra. That's a great point. So would you say that there are any, when you were forming this, I really like the idea that you guys went for the benefit, uh, you went for the need as a benefit. I, I thought that was a great way. I have actually never seen it presented that way before. But were there any potential barriers to doing this when you were forming the, the chapter? Uh, well, uh, um, actually, uh, when, when I, when I uh, speak about barriers, uh, I could say uh, that the main bar barriers is uh, that uh, uh, because people didn't know uh, 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 too much about areas uh, 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 of uh, ISAC, very ISAC, uh, uh, what ISAC promote. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is the most barriers. We, when we talk about uh, um, 
local legislation, then uh, we didn't have any barriers in, in, uh, from that uh, that uh, that point of view, uh, because uh, our legislation recognizes. Um, uh, uh, association, uh, uh, dependent and independent association, and uh, uh, we didn't have uh, any problem uh, uh, in 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 that way. Mm. Well, Serbia is a long way from the United States, and although ISACA is an international organization, are, do you find any challenges in mm. trying to communicate with uh, ISACA? or getting service from them, or, or do you feel it goes smoothly? Um, well, uh, I, uh, I can't uh, say it is challenges, maybe it is opportunities. Uh, okay. and, uh, yeah, yeah, because, uh, okay, we are far away, but we are in, the, in this time in era where, where uh, uh, all communication uh, could finish online, so, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when when we speak about uh, challenges, or I, I really like to say opportunity, that is maybe language. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, at the beginning, uh, you know, we speak Serbian, that is our, uh, uh, our language. Uh, English is something, uh, our second or something what we learn in, in the school and, uh, and so on. But uh, 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 from the other side, from people uh, from, U uh, from global, uh, from US, uh, they have uh, understanding of, uh, of that and they really helping us to improve our English language. And that is something what is a opportunity. To, uh, uh, we, we have that opportunity to learn uh, second language better. <laughs> that, is, that is a great way to frame it, Sanja. Uh, I do know a lot of US-based organizations that have members outside North America. They struggle with how to best serve their international members. And I would think that that is uh, something even more keenly on the mind of a group like ISACA that has international chapters as well, because that's a different level of service. So uh, I just love that attitude though, as an opportunity to improve a second language. But do you, do, do you get any uh, information that's translated into your language or is everything American English? Uh, well, uh, all information uh, and all communication is uh, in English. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, if we uh, we need something to translate to our members uh, and to our community, we do that, did, do that tr translations. Uh, but um, you know. Uh, uh, today, uh, uh, you have um, a, a lot of opportunity to trans translate something from English or from any other language to, to, to language what you, uh, that you understand. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so it is not too, uh, uh, too complicated, but maybe if you uh, uh, should to translate uh, um, some document, uh, which is not only one page, it, it is maybe a few page or more than a few page, then uh, uh, it is uh, spending your time. It, it is only, only um, that I could say, uh, uh, only challenge to, to find the time to translate uh, 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 that kind of documents. Yeah. yeah, well, and, and then, of course, you have to make sure that it, it still means the same thing. Yeah, uh, I've exactly. had that issue with trying to translate just short things myself. Yeah. Like going back I'll so, actually okay. just keep, sorry, go ahead, sorry, Cecilia, yeah. I wanted to ask uh, Sanjay, let's look at the structure and, and strategically here. How is the HQ, the ISACA HQ in the U.S., how does it influence your structure? Would you say that it's a mutual lateral influence or one is greater than the other? Because with some of these international chapters, uh, the orders, they still tend to get their orders from their headquarters. So I'm kind of interested in how that 
our structure works, if you don't mind sharing with uh, our global audience? Yeah, uh, actually, we, uh, we are independent association uh, from ISACA and we uh, mm. just, uh, yeah, we, we just uh, get some, some kind of, uh, uh, I can't say it's code of conduct, but some, some kind of rule uh, if you want to be part of uh, ISAC Global, uh, that's your role you, you should uh, to follow. Um, but, but on the other side, uh, um, actually, uh, we are, uh, 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 we are that, uh, that who, who asking for help uh, uh, to, to organize something in our chapter. You know, mm -hmm. because uh, we asking uh, asking for help, we asking uh, headquarters, but but uh, we asking the other chapters who are maybe uh, um, old, uh, old older than than our chapter and have experience in some kind of, uh, for example, events or or something like that. Uh, 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 and then we ask uh, uh, ask them, okay, what is your experience? Mm -hmm. What you think? Uh, 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 what you think? How how we could uh, uh, do this? So, how, how large is your chapter? Uh, well, this year we celebrating five year of uh, existing. Wow! <laughs> and how many yeah. members do you have? How how many numbers? Okay, this year uh, we have uh, uh, I think uh, hundred uh, around hundred a uh, uh, hundred and uh, twenty. Yeah, wow. that's, a, that's congratulations. That yeah. is yeah. Great. We start we start with sixty. Wow. <laughs> and you have a and you doubled. That's fantastic. Yeah, we doubled. Yeah, yeah. That is great mm -hmm. work. And you know, I I want to ask you a little bit more about partnering with other ISACA chapters mm -hmm. I, because I think that is something we sometimes overlook with chapters. So, have you ever done a joint program with another chapter? Uh, well, uh, uh, actually, we uh, uh, this year we starting to communicate with um, uh, with the chapters uh, uh, who is in, uh, countries neighbor countries chapters uh, to organize um, some kind of uh, uh, joint uh, uh, conference. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, it, it is not it is our it will be our first experience but uh, that experience we have uh, from the another chapters mm -hmm. and uh, maybe uh, this uh, uh, pandemic time uh, actually uh, give uh, chapters uh, uh, opportunity to to uh, make that kind of uh, join event uh, uh, so uh, um, Isaka last year has uh, one very, very good and very successful uh, 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 joint conference with um, uh, Latin uh, uh, Latin chapter. You know, mm. uh, people who uh, uh, people all around the world who speak Spanish uh, uh, and uh, chapters all around the world, uh, uh, where is uh, Spanish is uh, the main uh, language. So they organize uh, uh, one uh, uh, joint uh, uh, conference. So it, it was very good and very great and very successful. Interesting. Yeah. So for, for US associations and some of our global community who are considering uh, international chapter as an option, what would you like to share with them is some of the best practices to consider in doing this? Because some people want to definitely broaden their scope of market and international uh, chapters is definitely a, a good way to broaden the association market base. So would you mind just sharing with our global audience some of those thoughts? Oh, wow. What, uh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I really, I really uh, want to, to, to uh, suggest them to try, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to try, um, um, maybe to try in uh, first in Europe, because Europe is maybe uh, uh, Europe or a Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, because maybe they are at uh, uh, th these continents are at uh, maybe same level of um, 
uh, you, they, they know how this is going. Mm -hmm. Africa, Africa is very good because uh, Africa is, uh, uh, is um, seeking for knowledge and for okay. community. I, that is my, that, that is my, uh, uh, really only my, <laughs> uh, my opinion. So <laughs> I think, I think, I think that uh, uh, if you want to, 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 to go somewhere, uh, uh, go in Europe and Asia to share uh, knowledge, but go in Africa to, to give a knowledge and to give uh, opportunity. Thank you. That's, That's a great suggestion. Uh, we do hear that uh, about associations around the world. They do mm -hmm. look to the U.S. for guidance and information. Uh, I think that's a great uh, suggestion, Sanja. Uh, so, Sanja, we, we are unfortunately at the end of our episode. We love talking with you, uh, but we do need to wrap up for this episode. Uh, but what is... Uh, a thought you would like the audience to take away about international chapters and if someone wanted to follow up what would be the best way to get in touch um well uh, um uh, the best way uh, to, to actually uh, uh don't afraid of uh, going internationally and to be international uh, and uh, uh, only uh, what you need to do uh, to, to uh, do that first step uh, and uh, uh, all around the world you will find people uh, who will uh, uh, support you and uh, who will uh, uh, make your uh, uh, journey successful. <laughs> That's great. And uh, can people contact you via your chapter website or LinkedIn? Uh, yes, people could uh, uh, could contact me uh, via LinkedIn. It, it will be great. I, I'm here to answer and any question. And well, you are a wonderful advocate for international connection. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And Agnes, do you have a closing thought? No, I just wanted to echo uh, Cecilia's thought. Thank you for joining us again. We always enjoy your conversation. And I think that this presents an opportunity for our global community, uh, particularly our association community, who are interested in expanding the scope internationally to uh, benchmark with some of the things that you've already shared with us. And um, we just want to appreciate you again for coming. And we look forward to having you back on our show. Thank you. Definitely. So uh, we do have to go rogue for now. But again, we want to thank our guest, Sanja Kekich of the Isaka Belgrade chapter, who is not only an immediate past president, but is one of the people who founded this group. Uh, she's a great example of how international chapters can work and support people all around the world. So thanks again, Sanja, and we will be back next time with another episode.